So today in beautiful Los Angeles Saturday, we're going to talk about the car which everybody want and uh, it's bringing a lot of attention when you're driving the car. What I noticed during the days I'm using it, even the cops when they, they just passing you by, they're going to turn the heads around and probably they're going to do a U-turn just to follow you on the back a little bit just to see if you're overspeeding or not. As of right now, we're filming it in the middle of nowhere and uh, there is a, a police car came just to check it out how we're doing here and uh, we're doing good so there is nothing illegal so it's a huge problem in los angeles right now if you're living in 2023 july you're probably gonna know besides the homeless all over the city there is a huge street takeovers going on and this is the car representing that kind of nightlife what's going on in los angeles why it's representing that kind of life because it is a scat pack 2016 dodge charger with 6.4 hemi engine and why it has 6.4 engine i have no idea somebody decided let's put that engine from the truck 2500 or 1500 whatever on a charger on just regular four door family car kind of family car or rental car it's going to be fun and it is a fun it's not the hellcat because the hellcat it's the next step from this car so basically this car has 485 horsepower and i think even right now this car has 90,000 miles on it and it still has a lot of uh, horsepower left under the hood but the hellcat Again, it's kind of different, uh, different car in my opinion because it has more power. Uh, it's gonna give you more uh, enjoyable to drive on a truck somewhere when you step on a gas really hard. But this car giving you exactly the same, in my opinion, uh, kind of feeling because it has a lot of horsepower under the hood. Every time when you step on a gas, you want to step even more just. Uh, to get that emotion the car and engine giving you plus the sound of the exhaust it's it this car has original exhaust there is nothing modified yet and it's just beautiful it's just beautiful sound of v8 engine uh, with huge horsepower under that so what else i was going to say the suspension on this car it is still original like all the parts on the car besides one i'm going to show you to you later on uh, so it has original bilstein yellow shocks on it and i thought maybe it's off the market but when i check it out it's still original uh from the factory that's why they all dirty um and you can notice that it's not aftermarket parts so the brake system it is a brembo and they works really really good i don't know what kind of brake pads they put is it original one mopar or maybe it's a good aftermarket brand or maybe it's a brembo but the brakes are super nice super soft but same time it's gonna stop the car from any speed that's what i like a lot so basically like i say for those several days i'm driving this car around the city i've been chased by police cars like many many times and uh, the people all around they just looking at this car because again the young generation of this city not like only LA but everywhere they want it it is desirable car I would say it's kind of on demand because it's not so many on the market there is a lot of cars on the market right now but if you're going to chase them you're going to see how fast they are selling so basically people want to buy it and what I quite notice about the, to sell this car not only people buying it who has money or good credit there is a lot of people students kids the kids they want to buy this car what they doing they bring in mom pop they bring in like brothers or someone with good credit they doing cosign or they buying under their name so they just can have this beautiful car and get all attention from the people from the friends from the school or university wherever they're going because it is a 6.4 hemi engine and it's a dodge so it is a muscle car and you can notice it just to look at the car at the bumpers the grills and all kind of stuff i did review gt version of 2019 dodge charger and from the first look it's kind of the same car it has a scoop on the hood the scat pack it has 100 
horsepower more than the regular RT, but for some reason on the back of this car, there is a badge, it says RT, but RT, it has 5.7 engine, V8, Hemi, but 385 horsepower. This is the Scat Pack, 6.4 Hemi, and it has 100 horsepower more, 485. Uh, Again, why they did so, I have no idea. I have no idea how many of those cars been produced, but they are desirable. People want it. And I want one too. So that's why when I came across of this car at the auction, I bought it just to drive it, review it, you know, and sell it like I'm doing with all my cars. But again, I got enough from this car for those period of time I drove it and I don't want to drive it anymore. So I'm going to park it and sell it probably really soon. So again, who did that decision to put this kind of engine on this car? Because the Charger, from my opinion, in, from the beginning, this car designed to be for door sedan for the mid family or the family, the big one, doesn't matter. But again, same time they design, I think, this car for the rental because the Hertz and Enterprise and all kind of big company, they keep buying those cars because it's really easy to rent. So this car, 6.4, it is in my opinion, designed for the trucks because they can pull a lot of heavy stuff behind it. But for some reason, again, somebody decided let's put it on the Dodge and it's going to be so fun uh, on the Dodge Charger or Challenger and it's going to be fun enough. So it is a funny engine. It is kind of durable. It is kind of simple to work on. Everything is available. All the parts, they're not so expensive at the dealer. There is some common problems with the camshafts, but again, they're not so expensive to fix them. And the water pump noise leaking a little bit here, there, but in... So to, from the beginning, I think the Dodge made only Dodge Viper to be a sport car. Uh, we're not talking about the Chevy, but uh, there is nothing else uh, was on the market. You can put the huge engine and it's going to be sport car. So they decided to go with this one. And back in 2005, 2006 and all those years, they used to have a SRT uh, Dodge Charger also. And the truck Dodge Ram back in the 90s, when they took the engine from the Viper, SRT 10 and they put that V10 engine on a truck and again they say it's going to be fun to do it they did so and that car is high demanded still just I think in 90s they did that so because the Ford F-150 they came up with lightning so besides the Scat Pack they do have the uh, Hellcat available which is 707 I think horsepower and after that there is a Demon uh, Demon Red Eye blue eye golden eye i have no idea what kind of eyes that car has but there is a lot of horsepower for the small car and i don't know how you're going to handle it if you're going to buy the demon and use it as a daily driver but in my opinion again it's kind of hard because number one you're going to get a lot of tickets number two you're going to spend a lot of money for the gas that's why a lot of people have those cars but they're not driving it every day even this one's cat pack it's burning a lot of gas and my half tank whatever i put yesterday right now it's almost empty and probably at the end of the video it's going to be completely empty so even if you have a lot of money in the bank account you're still going to count it and you're not going to spend that kind of money for the gas itself because it's just ridiculous crazy you're gonna buy the tesla and keep it on the side you're gonna buy the prius or something else everybody has two or three more cars if they do have this one available because for daily usage it's not practical the suspension not so soft so it's bumpy all the time and I mean, it's kind of cool, but when you're driving it to work from work, you're driving it to get some grocery and you're going this way all the time. At the same time, you're going to step on the gas and burn some gas. Not some, you're going to burn a lot of gas. You're not going to like it after several days or several months. Um, you're going to buy the second car, that's for sure. So from the back of the car, you're going to notice it's something different going. Like I said, there is an RT sign, but no, the scat pack. So the rear bumper, the exhaust, it's different from the GT or uh, SXT version. But RT, a regular RT, not the scat pack, has exactly the same bumper and those kind of vents on the sides of it, right? So what are we going to see in the trunk? There is a kind of kind of a lot of space for different things because it's a charger. It's a huge sedan for door. It has a subwoofer system, babe, bits. It has a subwoofer, the original one. So what else? This car has a, has a complementary. That's the cover for your dashboard. So basically the dashboard right now, uh, it's in really good condition. I think because the owner, whoever owned this car, 
he was taking care of it. Besides that, it has the cover for the steering wheel. That's why the steering wheel, it is original and the leather paint on it, still in great shape, much better than uh, supercars, whatever I checked before. So one more thing this car has, and the good point, the guy kept the original one because I installed the original one to do the smoke check in California, but he installed that one, K and A filter, I think, I mean, why? Like, why? It's still there and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna keep it. So number one, it costs some money that can uh, intake, but same time, not just because of money, uh, the people who ever buy this car, they might gonna use it, they might gonna need it because for some reason they buying it and installing it. So that's kind of cool, I think for the next owner whoever gonna buy it they're gonna have extra part and they're gonna say oh that's nice i'm gonna put it so the sound of my intake is gonna be improved so this car has a keyless go system and like you can adjust it you can open one door or all the doors what about the space inside the car like i say it is a four door a uh, huge sedan american car uh, so definitely it's gonna have a lot of space and it is but because this is the RT scat pack. RT, all of them has those anatomic seats, but scat pack has that label on a seat as a beaver spinning wheels. So it is a cool heated seat and uh, you can control it from the middle screen. So what about the space? It has a lot of space, but again, when I'm sitting straight inside the car, the dashboard, I can feel it, but am I gonna be relaxed when I'm driving on the passenger seat in this car? No, I'm not gonna be relaxed. Maybe I can try, but on this suspension, I don't like it at all. GT version or SXT on regular suspension, it's super nice soft car. This is not the soft suspension for daily driving, in my opinion. The seats are comfortable, but the space inside the car for the passenger, for me, it's not comfortable. What about the glove box? Glove box kind of, I mean, all the manuals, there is a lot of stuff you can put it inside. So can I sit behind myself? I think I can. The seat, yeah, there is a lot of space for my legs. There is a lot of space for my butt and for my head also. So it's kind of cool, normal, and it has a uh, heated rear seats plus USB port so I can charge my phone while I'm sitting in the back. I already have a child seat and my kids, they love it. They love the sound of this car. They love the way it looks, but I don't. And some points I do. I don't because the money I'm spending for the gas is just too much. So I can drive my Tesla as a daily driving and just keep the car for a period of time. But, um, I had to drive it. I had to drive it for several days just to get an idea why the people want it, why they buying it and why it's so popular for the street takeovers at night. And now I got an idea why, because it's super powerful, it's super fast and it is attracting a lot of attention from the people around you and definitely from the people on the black and white cars. So be patient and uh, pay attention. And if you do have some kind of things, you can put it on and check what's going on if somebody trying to chase you or check your speed just use it i mean this car definitely need it and you're gonna appreciate it after you're gonna buy it and use it so when you sit inside the car what you can see number one that's the common problem for all the chrysler 300 and the dodges that's the door covers i mean from the heat the plastic just squeezing and it just drying on the passenger side, it is more so it's kind of kind of start hanging and there is a huge gap just because the door panel already dried. So what do we have on a central screen? Central screen, there is a navigation system, there's a climate control, there is a lot of different application for the performance you can do. You can do activate launch mode and uh, launch it, but I'm not going to do so because I don't like it. So on the cluster, we do have a lot of different information. And what I do like besides the your economy, uh, fuel screen. 
I mean, again, you drive in this car, why you need the fuel economy? Probably you do not. There is a driver assist, so this car has Destronic Plus, plus the line keeper. That's kind of cool. Performance. So on the performance, you're going to see what's the top speed you have, what's the 060 you can make, and a lot of different things. Even the torque on the wheels, that's super cool. I mean, laps, all kind of stuff. So what I do like the most, that's the vehicle info. And what you can do, you can see the temperature for your transmission, for the engine, oil temperature. So basically, why you need those parameters? You do need those parameters if you're doing, if you're launching a lot or you're just racing or you're driving on a track. You want to see how far your temperature goes so you can stop and cool it down a little bit and after drive it again. So whatever you need, if your transmission going hard, if you're doing donuts or something else, just check your temperature constantly because you don't want to do the donuts last time. You want to do donuts again later on. So just keep checking that. But what I do like the most, that's the, not the battery voltage. I like engine torque and I like this one. That's the engine power. So basically every time you step on the gas, it shows you how many horsepower engine producing at this moment. And when you're doing takeoff, you step on the gas, you see your horsepower going up. I never went all the way to 485 because it's just crazy and I'm not on the track. I can do the vented seats, heated steering wheel or the heated seats. The condition of the steering wheel, like I said, probably because this car from the beginning, it had a cover on it. So it's just like new condition and the leather and it's not painted. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can go to the upholstery shop and get it painted or redo it, but it is still original. The paint original and the leather, it's in a great, great shape. So the dashboard again used to have a cover i took it off because i think it's just uh, super cheap and i don't like the way it looks it's not the 99 uh ford f-150 truck that's a dodge supposed to be this way but because of the cover the condition of the dashboard it's the same great as a steering wheel it's not dried like the door panels it's just cool so and there is a lot of common problems for the dashboard also that's why they have a covers available everywhere you can buy and a lot of people using it just because they know when this part of the dashboard gonna dry it's gonna lift it up this way and it's gonna be huge gap right here and maybe on the side also so you're gonna do nothing with that and you're just gonna keep driving the way it has a gap or you have to replace the dashboard and by the way, it's not that expensive from the dealer if you're going to buy just a shell for your dashboard. So what else we have here? That's just climate control, regular as any Dodge Charger has. All the switches, same as a Maserati and some of them uh, Mercedes. But the cool point about Scat Pack, besides the sport button, it has a super truck pack button. So basically when you turn that on, it's going to all the launch control mod and all kind of stuff. I think if you're going to push it a little bit more, uh, your traction control is going to be off or you can turn it off yourself if you want to do donuts. But to turn it off completely, you have to push it and hold it. So it's going to turn it off. That's it. We're not going to that mod, sport mod, super track pack. Super track pack, sport cut mod, eight, scat pack me no so we're gonna we're gonna drive it a little bit uh and i'm gonna maybe maybe you're gonna get an idea of the suspension this car has like i say it is a original bilstein uh yellow shocks and there's a police car watching us just if we're gonna do some crazy stuff or not so we are not doing crazy stuff please don't follow us uh you can follow us on the youtube but don't follow us on the street. Kind of loud exhaust, you might gonna say it is aftermarket, but it's not. It is a original Mopar exhaust system. And again, because we do have a nice uh, police station right next to us, we're not gonna do crazy stuff on this road, maybe a little bit on the other road. Steering wheel is still tight. I cannot feel any parts loose. What I can feel exactly what's going on, that's the motor mounts 
probably motor mounts, transmission mounts, they kind of all gone. And the mounts for the rear differential. KA alert. KA alert. I'm going to turn it off. So the mounts for the rear differential, they kind of loose. So every time when I step on the gas a little bit harder, I can feel like my rear axle, rear differential jumping back and forth. So again, you get in the car with huge engine besides the heavy engine it has a lot of horsepower and your motor mounts that's the cheapest way to fix the problem on this car because they're not so expensive i might gonna do it but probably not because it's a common problem the car has some miles on it and uh, nobody really cares i mean everybody cares there is no check engine light it's not misfiring the car drives super nice and great and especially on the freeway and it's super bumpy it's super uncomfortable for me right now because i don't like that kind of suspension to drive it in the city especially in los angeles the streets they're not so flat and it is a bumpy all the time it doesn't matter how much you're paying for your registration a year the street is going to be exactly the same wherever you saw it yesterday we do have uh, someone checking us, but at the same time, we do have a pedal shifting on the steering wheel. We can change the gears. Da -da 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 -da. We can change the gears from three to one. It's nice. The sound of the engine is so beautiful. I love it. I just love it. Any RPM. I'm pushing on this engine 6.4 with 90 plus thousand miles on it. The sound of the engine just amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. I love that sound. What I was going to say, the AC working really good in this car. It's such a nice to be in, not out. Some cars, AC not working so, so good as a Dodge. But most of the American cars, from my experience, I know if the whole system working good, AC is working beautiful, no problem. And because it's 6.4, your AC it's not affecting your power. Your joyful ride in this beautiful Charger Scat Pack. So what about the parts for this car? So the engine itself, you can buy it from, it is a little bit different. Don't tell me it's completely different. It is a little bit different from the truck, but basically 6.4 Hemi, you can buy it around 4,000 if something's gonna happen. The transmission, it's going bad really, really rare period of time, probably never, but you can buy it for about 1,400, maybe a little bit more. So the parts for outside the car, the headlights, the bumpers, you're probably gonna need it if you're doing a lot of donuts they're not so expensive about 200 bucks and the mirror my right mirror has crack on it and it's damaged from all over so i just bought the new one from one place for 85 i think dollars i spent for the new mirror the hole completely and it has a blind spot lights on it and it's a heated so is it expensive no it's completely not expensive and it is affordable you can buy it on any parts platform you want so the sound system beats like this car has everywhere on sound speaker subwoofer in the trunk it's not still same performance as the engine so it's kind of plain loud and you can put a lot of bass if you want it but it's not clear for some reason it's not even nice like on the jeep because if you're going to take the jeep for example 2018 the one i have the sound system so nice so much improved but it is the same uh factory same chrysler concern and why they not doing it on a dutch i have no idea so as you do have a muscle american car you do have a lot of option to spend your money on so for example you still can do the supercharge on this 6.4 you're gonna get the uh, hellcat or even demon you can do so why not the suspension there is a lot of upgrades there is a lot of spoilers uh scoops for your hood there is a lot of carbon fiber 
parts as a hood you still can buy it so there is a lot of different options how you can spend your money or money of your parents if you really want it but i would keep this car original the way it was from the beginning from the factory because that's the only way this car gonna get value over the years so it's not gonna depreciate it's gonna appreciate even more because right now rarely but sometimes like the fg cruiser we're getting cars from japan in really good condition like 2006 2008 dutch charger srt they selling so fast even faster than this one and they're going for crazy money about 26 28 000 for 2006 srt that's too much just because that cars uh those kind of cars whatever we get it from japan they have a low mileage and great condition and most of the parts i would say 95 percent of the parts on that car they are original but japan has a different market one day we're gonna go there and check it out but they do like some crazy small things like the button switches and change this change that so they're not in japan when they get an american muscle car looks like they're not doing completely body change or body kits maybe some of them doing it but most of them they're keeping it original because they know over the years that car gonna appreciate the value a lot and you're gonna sell it for maybe even more that's why they're doing kind of tuning for small things as a button switches and maybe the key shell itself they replaced but they're not touching the body so i would not touch the body on this car even this car has 90,000 miles and you pay 30 on it so thank you so much guys for watching it put some comments below some thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video have a beautiful day